Right, before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so all you got to do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description, and uh, like that video, and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards or PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V-Bucks or anything, so yeah, just do that, and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you, mates. Right guys, we're back to the video, so today, as you can tell the title, I'm going to be doing a 1 million coins squad builder. So, I've done another 1 million coins, and I've done a 250k and a 50k hybrid, so, uh, actually a 50k Brazilian team. So, um, they seem to be doing pretty well, the squad builders, so, if there's any others you want uh, me to do, definitely uh, write it down in the comment section. Uh, like, any coin uh, value, or Premier League, or anything like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this one today is uh, actually a hybrid. Uh, you probably would have seen three players on the thumbnail, uh, and they were all French. So uh, I don't want to think make you think it's a French team. So I'm going to say that now. Um, the formation is four three two one to start, and then it change uh, for me. It changes four and two and two narrow. So it's up to you if you want to change, and it can definitely be played in the four three two one. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, from goalkeeper up to striker and starting obviously at goalie. So in goals. Obviously, uh, everyone's gold or special. So, uh, Handanovic in gold. In gold? In gold, sorry. Uh, brilliant keeper. Stick him in the squad. Inter Milan, so uh, you might uh, have a clue where we go next um, with some of the players. But 41k, I'm not sure if he's around that anymore, but the team costs about a mil. Uh, uh, obviously, it says minus 9, but when he gets full chem, uh, he sh uh, it won't say minus 9. It'll have some pluses. I think it's actually about plus 9 and 14 and stuff like that. Because I've got the... Uh, Glove chemistry style, but apart from that, he's really, really good. Traditional and six foot four, and then uh, two side weak foot and one side skill moves. Obviously, you don't notice that right foot if uh, you wanted to know. Uh, I'll do the right and left back. So, in right back, we've actually got a special card, but um, if you want to make it cheaper, you can uh, use this normal card, and that's Mounier. And then in left back, we've also got another special card, uh, which is Dalbert. And like again, if you want to, uh, if you want to make it cheaper, use their normal cards. And they uh, I've used Dalbert's normal card. I haven't used Mooney's, but it can't be much worse because they're only like one plus one upgrades on their Champions League cards. But uh, start off with Dalbert, 92 pace and uh, physical and defender both 72. Now 72 doesn't actually look that good, but he's just he literally he's one of the best left backs I've used. I'm not joking. I, I played 91 with him, and that was before I got his. Uh, I used to have his normal card. I played about. 40 games with his normal card as well so to have someone uh, to, that you've used that much is actually quite uh, shows they're quite a good player left foot on earth is nice on the left uh, left back because he can uh, play through balls down the wing and stuff and then three star weak foot isn't isn't too bad and then uh, good stamina and uh, good agility which is actually you wouldn't know it's hit but agility is uh, nice on your left and right back if they if they have it because uh, they can like uh, quickly I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean like in and out of uh, little areas uh onto Mounier pretty good player oh, not pretty good really good six foot three is the main stat I like to like I uh, uh use and abuse because I've uh, scored scored headers I've actually got four goals and five assists scored headers and uh, um I think I scored two bites with Mounier off corners um all stats above 75, uh, lowest stat is 76 actually. Then 85 physical is great. 79 defending is also good. 79 pace is fine because I've got an anchor on him. You could put shadow if you want. Shadow probably is actually quite better. Uh, four star weak foot is really, really nice because four star is like, like obviously second best, so it's really nice. High high is uh, fine for right back. Uh, or left back and then acceleration not great but his sprint speed is nice his stamina is amazing he lasts the whole game stand tackle and slide tackle are great and strength is obviously amazing 86 strength good crossing as well i've got some five assists so i must have i don't know crossed it with him or something because 84 crossing is really nice so uh those are the full backs onto the center backs both uh normal cards which can be Skriniar and marquinhos so uh obviously marquinhos getting the link to munia and Skriniar with the inter milan trio there um, when I when I was making this team, I, I was looking at centre backs. You can either go with Miranda, who I used before, so I want to try something different. And uh, so Scrini, I was the person I put in. And then you can have Thiago Silva here. I've used Thiago Silva, so I wanted to use me Marquinhos. Um, both really really good centre backs. I'm not joking. Like for their uh, card stats, well actually the card stats look good, but then 85 rated and 84 for a million coin team. Do you want to be using that? And the answer is yes. Literally, you do. 
Uh, screening eyes go through him, 87 defending and 82 physical, 6 foot 2, a medium high, which is perfect. You definitely need high defensive on your centre backs. And then he's got a shadow on them, uh, 72 pace, obviously bumps up with uh, plus 11 and plus 7. So he gets to 70, uh, one, 81 uh, acceleration and 80 sprint speed, which is very nice for centre back. Then great interceptions, good marking, stand tackle, slide tackle, aggression, strength, all really good. Uh, stamina at 77 is fine for the centre back, in my opinion. So uh, overall, really, really nice centre back. I got an anchor on Marquinhos. He's six foot, so I think it was he's six two. Yeah, a little bit smaller, but don't really notice it. Medium, medium. Uh, I just literally said he needed high defensive. I didn't realise he didn't have high defensive, but medium, medium seems to be fine. Uh, Thirty one games with him. Uh, plus one and one for his pace, only because he hasn't got full cam right now. So if I put in the centre mids, he will. Uh, good stamina, good marking, good interceptions, jumping, slide tackle, all really nice. This partnership is actually really, really good. So, uh, yeah, answer three centre mids. This is one of the best midfields I've used yet. So, uh, left centre mid is Nine Golan, as you've seen there. Right centre mid is Rabio, And then middle centre mid is the tank, Kante. So, uh, this is where the team lifts up his price a bit. Nine Golan I got four... 87k, I think it might have gone down. High, high, which is great for a centre mid. Uh, all stats above 75, uh, lower stat is 75. And then you've got great dribbling, defending and physical. Um, one thing you, you will notice with him, which is really, really nice, is his shooting. Take some shots with him. 86 long shots, 84 shot power is really, really nice. 93 stamina, he runs for the whole game. Uh, balance, really nice and reactions really well. Uh, really well, really good. He reacts to uh, everything really quickly like uh his tackling i don't know what it's oh yes i was about to say his tackling is really good stand tackle 86 and slide tackle 90 i was going to say you can definitely notice them and his uh five foot nine which isn't the tallest but he actually uh he actually does win a few headers 76 jumping i don't know uh just he does win headers he definitely does uh, it might be his uh aggression 88 to get him some headers win some headers he's actually got 10 assists and five goals which in 30 games of foot champs is very, very good. So, uh, yeah, that's one to note out. Uh, like I said, take some shots. He's got a few. I think there's one. I have some clips at the end. One of them is a uh, finesse shot with him. Obviously, finesse shot is broken, but he's really good at them as well. So, uh, on to Rabio. Rabio high medium, so he attacks a little bit more, which is weird because his defensive stats are usually a little bit better than his attacking, but that's fine. Three star weak foot again. Left foot, three star skill moves, and six foot four is his main thing. He's so tall, he wins loads and loads of headers. Uh, and also, if we check here, Marquinhos is plus four now instead of plus one because he's on four cam. Back to Rabio, he's got good stamina at E2. He's just an all rounder, really. Apart from his finishing, his crossing isn't great. His free kick and his penalties and his marking, but plus nine on his marking makes 70, 79, so it's actually fine. Strength, aggression are great uh, after, the, after the anchor boosts and. Just an all-round great card. 96 games for him. Had him for ages now. It was really, really good. Eight goals and nine assists. And then the big trio at the top. Go for left forward first. Uh, Martial is awesome. And then the other two players you might have uh, seen in the uh, thumbnail. It's not Salah. It's not Lucas. It's not Verdi. It's Mbappe. Great, great player. And then into, uh, uh, Actually, we'll talk about these first. Just because two players at a time is all right. Um, Mbappe first, absolutely brilliant. I think he's the fav my favorite person in the team. He's so so good. I I don't know. I literally there's not much to describe with Mbappe. Quick and good shooting and good dribbling. That's that sums him up really. Uh, 96 pace, 89 dribbling, 81 shooting, and then four star weak foot, which is awesome, and five star skill moves. If you can do skills, uh, then that is very nice for you. Five ten is actually quite good. And high medium is brilliant because you want him to uh, stay up the pitch. And then attribute details, 96 acceleration, 96 spin speed. So I haven't put anything to boost that because you just don't need to. And then plus 14 to his 85 attack positioning, plus 13 to his 86 finishing. It just makes him, he his finesse shots are, they're insane, they're mental. Uh, 81 long shots after the boost, 89 shot power after the, the boost. 75 penalties, don't use him for pens. Agility, 92, which is insane. Balance, 83. Reactions, 85. Ball control, 90. Dribbling, 89. And composure, 86. All of those are dark green. You just know he's going to be good at dribbling. And then stamina, 83. And he, he lasts more than enough. So uh, very, very nice. Martial, obviously can't live up to uh, uh, 
uh, whilst he's face Mbappe standards, but Martial is a brilliant, brilliant player. Uh, three star weak foot, so a little bit less, but four star skill moves is nice. Medium, medium, uh, it will be better with high medium. But uh, six foot and right footed, n very nice. Uh, great pace and acceleration. Uh, really nice finishing, attack positioning, shot power, penalties are nice. Curve is great. Reactions and agility and ball control, awesome. Dribbling, really, really good. Stamina is a little bit low, but uh, I do sub him off sometimes. But he is really good at finesse shots, so definitely use that. Up into striker, we've got Griezmann. He was in the thumbnail definitely because he's also one of the best players in his team. I think second best or third best because Mbappe is the best. And then it's between Kante and Griezmann. But uh, let's talk about Griezmann. Great acceleration and sprint speed. His attack positioning plus 8 gives him to 99. And then finishing is his best stat. 92 plus 5 uh, makes him obviously 97. So... Uh, his best base stats, sorry, attack position in 99 is better than 97. But his base stats, uh, finishing is the best. And you can definitely notice that, 100%. His finesse shot is the best on the game. Uh, l literally the best on the game. He's, he, I don't know, every every left foot is a finesse shot. I haven't showed you. He's three-star weak foot left foot. But that's absolutely fine. High, high, uh, he doesn't come back unless you take him back, obviously. Uh, yeah, back to these. His uh, reactions are 90, you can definitely notice that, he's always uh, and his agility 90, you can notice those two together because he's always uh, dribbling in and out of players, N jumping 99 after the Hawk boost, I don't know how uh, he has so much jumping but obviously it will help at some point, and then stamina 81 which is absolutely great, so that is the base team, and then what I do, I'm, I'm not going to, sorry, uh, LT and then Y, I'm not going to show you my tactics because to be honest, I don't even know what's good. I just mess around with them all the time. But what I do do, do do, uh, I go to attacking, and then I do. Uh, I don't. I won't change them for the video because it's 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 up to you really. So yeah, but go to attacking and then change the four one two and two. And then when I'm in four one two and two, I have Griezmann on the right striker so he can finesse shot. Martial into Cam and then Mbappe left striker so he can finesse shot. And then uh, Rabiot and Kante switched around. Kante CDM, nine goal in left centre mid, and Rabiot right centre mid. And that is the team in game for me. Obviously, you can leave it completely how you, uh, how you see it in four three two one, because it's absolutely fine. Maybe in game swap Mbappe and Martial if you wanted Mbappe on the right for, on the left for the finesse shots. But Martial can definitely uh, do the finesse shots, like you'll see in the clips. And then on the bench, some suggested subs. Uh, you probably actually Fred is one of them, and then they're into my untradeable players. Uh, you've probably seen him already, Salah, and then you wouldn't have seen Eriksen, but he's a great one. And Koke, they're the four players that I like to bring on a lot. Um, so Koke into centre mid, left centre mid, usually for Nangolan or Rabio in like extra time. Eriksen comes on as a cam for Martial about 70th minute, 65th, whatever. Uh, Salah can come on straight where Griezmann is if it's if it's needed because he's a left footed absolute beast. And then uh, Fred uh, for one of the centre mids if Koke, uh, I don't know if he had, I haven't got a clue if, if I wanted to obviously. Uh, there's not a CDM there actually, uh, I do have, I think I have Wanyama sometimes I bring on, which is a low rated one, but he's actually pretty decent, I don't know if where he is, uh, it doesn't matter, but you can have anyone, obviously the subs are not part of the 1 million coins, they're obviously, that's, a, that's nearly like 700k, just those two players there, so yeah, this is the 1 million coins uh, team, I've got some clips of some goals I scored, uh, so uh, you can see how it performs in game, they're all foot champions games, so yeah. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it some thumbs up and subscribe and already. Peace. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all. Trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. And on
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on